The original MateBook X Pro was one of the best slim and light Windows laptops of its time, so it's only right that Huawei has updated it for 2019 with fresh upgraded specs and features. Now, not a huge amount has changed with this new model compared with the original, and that's absolutely fine with me as the original was so bloody great. Now, I've been using the 2019 edition for just over a month now as my full-time laptop, and here is my in-depth Huawei MateBook X Pro 2019 review. And for more than the latest and greatest tech, please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers! Now, anyone who's fondled last year's laptop will be struck with a serious case of deja vu upon picking up this one, as the design of the new MateBook X Pro is almost identical. Once again, you have an impressively portable silver chassis, weighing just 1.3 kilos and measuring a slender 14.6 mils at the thickest point. That metal frame isn't just lightweight and blissfully easy to slip into a bag. It's also pretty damn durable as well. I've dropped this thing on a carpeted floor and it's absolutely fine, not a dent on it, while bashing it around in my backpack nonstop stop for well over a month has had absolutely no ill effect whatsoever. I can't help but feel a little bit underwhelmed by the new Huawei branding on the lid though. It's just a bit boring really. Not that that's much of an issue of course as you'll likely spend the bulk of your time staring at the other side. One of the limitations of such a slim laptop though is the tiny amount of space afforded to ports. So like last year's bottle you only get three connections in all. It's good to see a full sized USB port joining the dual type C ports again though. And there's Thunderbolt 3 support for fast data transfer as well which is handy if you want to plug in a 4K monitor or even connect an external graphics card. Power up the Mabel X Pro 2019 and you can't help but marvel at that gorgeous 13.9 inch LTPS display. Bezels are almost non-existent, helped along by the comedic positioning of that webcam in the actual keyboard. I say comedic, it's only really funny for whoever you're Skyping with, as they'll definitely enjoy unfettered access to your double chin and nasal cavities. But I digress, that screen is a beaut, covering the full sRGB gamut for a pleasingly natural colour reproduction. It's bright enough to use outside on sunny days, as long as you're not attempting to watch a moody Marvel show or anything like that while the 3000 by 2000 pixel resolution keeps everything crisp. As before, the display is touch sensitive as well, which is very handy when messing around with creative apps. Plus, this 2019 model supports multi-touch gestures for capturing screenshots. You can grab either the whole display or just a portion, complete with text recognition and all kinds of nifty features. And for extra peace of mind, that display is coated in Gorilla Glass as well. So far, not a scratch or nick to report. The audio chops of the MateBook X Pro don't disappoint either. You get a Dolby Atmos quad speaker setup which is ideal for watching shows in a noisy kitchen or basically wherever you roam. As you'd kind of hope, the Huawei MateBook X Pro comes with full Windows 10 Pro pre-installed as well, complete with Windows Hello Security. You don't get facial recognition support, as of course you'd have to pop up that bloody camera every time you wanted to use it, kind of a ball lick. But thankfully the power button does have a built-in fingerprint sensor and it works an absolute charm. Only when your mitts are damp or a bit filthy does that scanner actually struggle. Otherwise, booting up and logging in is super nippy. That keyboard hasn't changed up from last year's model either, once again offering a smooth and satisfying typing experience. Stretching practically the full length of the chassis, each key has afforded plenty of space. I found I could easily smash out scripts and emails while hitting my peak touch typing speeds. My only real complaint is that bloody enter key which is crammed into a single row. Sacrilege. And while the travel is of course very shallow, I found that I didn't have any issues with comfort. I could smash out documents on this thing for hours on end without numbing my fingertips. And of course there's full backlighting as well if you are a bit of a night owl. Even the touchpad on the MateBook X Pro doesn't suck, which is pretty rare for a laptop. That's helped immeasurably by the enormous bloody size of the thing. Talk about no wasted space. As you'd expect, one of the biggest upgrades of the 2019 model of the MateBook X Pro is that performance. Specs alert, you can grab it with up to the 8th generation Intel Core 8565 5U platform backed by either 8 or 16 gigs of RAM. And you could also have yourself a tasty slice of EBEX 250 GPU action with 2 gigs of VRAM. My review sample was that top end model, and this proves well up to the task of video editing and other demanding creative tasks. You could even get some gaming on the go. I tried a bit of Killed Floor 2 just to see how it works, and it runs fine, although it's not the smoothest experience. The laptop does start to warm up a little bit, of course, as you would expect. This thing is definitely suited to more basic gaming instead. And I also had no issues with the Wi-Fi connection either. Even when chilling out in the garden, I found that I could stream HD video without a single stutter and download files at an impressive rate. As for battery life, plugging away in the Chrome browser while streaming some music over Spotify generally gave around six hours of use before the battery finally gave up. Not bad at all for a laptop around this size. So in conclusion, while Huawei hasn't really changed things up for this latest MateBook X Pro, the 2019 model is still one of the best portable Windows machines around. Performance is better than ever, and I still love the impressive usability. Combined with that beautiful touchscreen, this is a great creative laptop.
So that's what I think of the new 2019 edition of the MacBook X Pro. Definitely a fantastic slim and light Windows option. So are you tempted? Definitely be great to hear your thoughts below. If you've got any alternatives that you'd like to suggest for me to review, definitely again, bash those down in the comments down below. And please do pop subscribe and ding that notifications bell for more on the latest and greatest tech. Cheers everyone.